Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into Glee, season two, episode number 20, a uh, prom queen. Obviously, this is something that's been kind of in the previous three or four episodes that, you know, all these different individuals are trying to win prom queen. And so I'm hoping they don't side all the way with Quinn because I feel like Zyces and uh, Santana have, you know, good pull. So hopefully it's a competitive one. and It's not like a landslide. But nonetheless, hopefully you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. Santana Karofsky by half a point. So our campaign strategy is to close the gap using a combination of intimidation and fear. Awesome. Of course it is. One more question. Of course this one it was is. Emailed in by a fan. Where does Lauren keep your balls? Ooh. Fine. Well, then let me take this opportunity to make a request. William, I have in my Spanx at all times <laughs> a list of the worst songs ever performed by the Glee Club. And I would okay. appreciate it if you would not reprise any of the following numbers. Number one, Run Joey Run. You should literally apologize to America. No, that was good. Two, that one was good. Genius. Nobody's asking. All right, guys, prom. Please tell me we're not doing songs about prom. Nope. We are the prom. Biggins has asked us to perform. Let's do Run, Jerry, Run. Now, I know this is an ideal with Nash. What? Up, Why would you even really recommend that, choice. Rachel? And... Is she okay? I'm, I'm almost 100% sure nobody... So? Rachel doesn't date. either. I was about I'm to say. Gonna dance. And then all your dates are going to ignore you and come dance with me. So your dates are really my dates. I'm going to go talk to Mercedes. No. Let me... There's a lot of people in this group right now that don't have any dates. You know, I don't have a date to prom either. See, you know, that's, that's two other people. Talk a good game about. Isn't that what prom is supposed to be about? You're not gonna go to prom alone. But go with me. It's even more depressing. I have Damn. Plan. <laughs> I know what she means. Um, beats the living crap out of us. Of course. I'm so sorry. Why are people so I'm low, proud. man? Um, no, Mercedes and I, we have a proposition for you. We were wondering if you'd like to go to prom with us. Kind of like a, a three-way date, but not the dirty kind. <laughs> that sounds great, <laughs> but I It would be an honor. There we go. <laughs> See? See? Problem solved, man. Problem solved. Ladies, pool options for my own prom app. Wait, so you're going? Sad? That's just tragic. Yes, I'm going. And not alone. Good point. <gasps> yes! <laughs> That's amazing! Right. Ladies, if you'll excuse me, uh, I have a private... Ten feet of that one. When she grabs me, I'll create a diversion with my sweet dance moves. She'll be mesmerized, hypnotized by my love dance. That's when you'll sneak in behind us. <laughs> Look at his hair. And sell me out and Hold up. You see how I my guy dude welcome back randomly my guy sure. jesse what a surprise my guy what are you doing here he's I mean, here for me rachel he's here for me so what are you doing for prom hmm so this is totally going to take away from the whole plan we had with Sam. <laughs> That's really confusing because Brittany, I'm telling you. He's about to spray him. Please don't spray him. <laughs> no? So? Lovely, but what? I'm not gonna go to prom with you. Oh, I'm you're hurting her heart. I really didn't like that. So oh, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go to prom by myself and really work on me and dance with other people's dates. <laughs> you still haven't even apologized, my guy. A powder blue tux with a ruffled shirt and a big blue bow tie look like Tony Orlando. <laughs> Is that a designer? No, no need for half off my outfit. Because half of it is already off? My <laughs> ensemble is an homage to the recent royal wedding and the late Alexander McQueen. I had to make it myself. 
There's simply nothing off the rack that is suitable. And if you don't want to join me, I completely understand. I think it's because of Blaine's previous problems. Thanks. It's always about the image for him. I feel right. bad. Away from me here, right? That was a cool moment, man. That was touching. Understanding that we're in one. He's so smart. I, I can't believe he flunked out of college. <laughs> so I was thinking, what are the two things that I'm great at? Show yeah. choir and destroying the competition. Yeah. So, what if I opened up a dance studio where I could act as a consultant for show choirs looking to get that extra edge? Do you think there Ooh. are enough show choirs to keep? Can I say it's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on <laughs> Do they really do this song? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe they did this, this song of all the songs. Really interesting because of the fact that, like, the Glee members they always get picked on, yet they perform, and it's like, woohoo! Can't take one more step. Yo, that's so freaking shady. I'm so happy to be here with you. It's what I've always wanted. Tora, Tora, Tora. Let's go, Tom. Yeah, uh, cut away because you know Phil wasn't going to say anything we wanted to hear. There's no music. It's okay. I got the music in me. <laughs> Dude! Now! Party! Dude, Finn, man. This is starting to bother me with you, bro. Quinn, you're not gonna say nothing? David Karofsky! Okay. Karofsky takes the victory. You suck so bad, Quinn, for break. I won. It's not gonna be Santana, it's gonna be Lauren. My secret ballot. I put big on this practical joke. When you need to calm this down. This is your fault. Nobody ever would have voted for me because they know he would rather be with you. That's not true. Oh, shoot. Whoa, <laughs> holy crap. You're a lot more than that. Here. They must have sensed that I was a lesbian. I mean, they must have. Do I smell like a golf course? I don't know what you're hiding. <laughs> what? You're not being... oh. oh, yeah, then no, I didn't. Well, why didn't you tell me that before? I was just about to pull out a couple of your molars. So, can I go? You should really be ashamed of yourself. You are seriously no fun to interrogate or almost torture. That might have been part of the plan. My question is, how does he handle this? How does Karofsky handle this? Karofsky, please. Please, buddy. What? Come out. Make a difference. <laughs> There's no better song than this to come out to, bro. You can, bro. You can. Hey. That was awesome, man. Yo, is this the first time? Yo, it is. What, yo? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Season two, episode number 20. Great episode. Really enjoyed it. You want to know why I really enjoyed it, though? And it's going to sound crazy as hell. We got Schuster for like two minutes in this episode. And I know that that sounds bad because I like Schuster. I'm not going to sit here and say I hate Schuster. But Schuster in season two, it ain't it. 
it ain't cutting it for me. So the fact they limited him and put as much of the kids in the you know the spotlight and gave them screen time or whatever, I enjoyed it, dude. And anytime Jesse comes back, you know you know the episode's about to be Liddy. You know it because he's back. Even if it was for a brief moment. Even if it was for a brief moment. We got a song with him. We got a little bit of story with him. You can't even ask her for anything better than that. Seriously can't. It was a really good episode. Not only was the music banging, at least a nine for me. Story was banging. Another nine for me. Story wise, music wise, everything in this in this episode was great. So the cool thing about you know what's going on here is that I feel like it was a lot of sort of emotional building for some of these characters. So obviously what Quinn has been wanting this entire time was to be prom queen and for you know Finn to be prom king. They didn't get that. So that went through a whole emotional thing for her. She slapped Rachel. Like that was like, oh shoot. That's all she's ever wanted. She didn't get it. Oh my God. Another thing is obviously uh, you know, Karofsky and his situation and how Kurt said, you know, come out, you know, pick your moment. This is the perfect time to come out, yada, yada, yada. And he couldn't do it. And I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, he's, he sucks for that. He, he's such a shitty person. He should have did it. That was his moment. No, you know, whenever your moment is, is whenever your moment is. You feel comfortable enough to do it, then do it. If you don't, then by all means, who are we to tell you? when you should or shouldn't be doing something. So, you know, I thought he was going to do it. I thought this was the moment. He couldn't do it. And that's all right on him, man. That's okay. He's trying. He's making progress. He's not bullying Kurt, and that's 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 huge progress. Kurt, he viewed it as uh, something that they were making fun of him. But he embraced it afterwards. He embraced it. and And he will sit there and tell you that he is... The Queen of Queens. So he embraced it afterwards. Blaine and him had to, you know, they got to share a dance together, which was awesome. Mercedes. I, I wish they would have dove into a little bit more of the Mercedes thing. I wish they wouldn't have copped out and just let her go with Sam. I feel like there could have been someone a little bit more. Like, we need Mercedes to have someone. Like, just kind of copping out and having her go with Sam just kind of didn't feel like it made any sense. They didn't really dive into it. It was like a big story early on where, you know, she just wanted this magical moment and to be asked to prom and this, this, and that. And then they just kind of did the charity, not the charity. Um, Is that what they called it? Like a charity, whatever they called it, whatever they called it. Like that just seemed like a cop out. I feel like we could have did a little bit something more with that. The Artie and Brittany thing that's going on. I feel like Artie brought it on himself. And I think the worst part about it is that he just up until the the end of the song or whatever, he really just didn't sit there and apologize. And I feel like, you know, he, he didn't quite understand what he was saying to Brittany and how much like that hurts from somebody that you, you know, care so much and you're with, you know what I mean? You care so much about them or whatever. And so for you to, could you imagine, could you imagine being with someone and like not saying like the person says, Oh, you're stupid. Like, jokefully because I know that's that happens all the times all the time in uh, relationships I'm talking about like someone who genuinely from the heart says you're this you're that and brings you down like that it hurts you know and this is high school of all things we man, high school we were messes man we were such messes in high school that's what I had to kind of like a lot of the time I get upset but then I had to like sit back and relax and be like yo this is high school high school was very much like that in the sense of like getting upset over little things not moving on as quickly things like things of that nature so the one thing that I'm gonna like really tell you why I'm so upset about the Finn thing and the Finn thing that and the reason it upsets me so much is if you're not feeling Quinn if you're just not with the vibes anymore then tell her let her go date someone else it's very much like I feel like what it is is that Finn thinks he can date and be with whoever he wants. But then he also has to tell Rachel, hey, you can't be with him. You can't be with Jesse. He threw an egg at you. 
really? Really? I, I understand where you're trying to come from. You're trying to be like this protector from, from her feelings and stuff. But if there's anyone that's broken her heart more than Jesse, it'd be you, buddy. It'd be you. So, I mean, I didn't understand where he came from. He kept trying to be like this, like, sort of big macho man. And, and, and oh, don't dance on her. Keep it PG. Keep it PG. Really? Really, Finn? That was real stupid on his part. Really stupid. And I, I wonder if they'll dive into that in the next episode or if they just kind of ignore it. But that was stupid. That was stupid. That was so ridiculous. But anyways... I mean, that's pretty much what the episode was. Uh, the Sylvester stuff, is it's just kind of dying down for me, personally. It's fine, and there's a funny moment here and there whenever she's doing her little, like, interrogation or stuff like that. Like, it's okay, but, like, now it's kind of like, man, we've been doing this for so long. Like, let's let's get a different side of Sue, or at least give her a good reason as to why she's continuing to try to do that. I understand that Glee, you know took some money away from them or whatever but be supportive i guess you can say like what we're in the same school same same kids same everything just doesn't make any sense but the karofsky thing is definitely getting really good it's heating up really well the the jesse thing i don't know if this is just a one-time episode type of thing or not but it was a it was a pleasant surprise to say the least the music was great the the winning the winner was a surprise Again, this interrogation with Artie and, and Sylvester was just kind of like, well, been there, we've done that. It's not really all that anymore. Really good songs. Really, really good songs. And that's the episode, man. That is literally the episode. So hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace, guys.